Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be making my version of orange chicken. For that I'm going to be using two and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken breast which I cut up into chunks. Now a little tip I have for you is leave your chicken a little bit frozen. It's way easier to cut up. Then I have one tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. Mix that up into a slurry and put that slurry into your chicken chunks. Wrap your chicken up and put it back into the fridge for about 20 minutes or so. What that's going to do is when you cook your chicken, it's going to make your chicken way more softer. Okay, so when your chicken is in the refrigerator marinating, we could get our garlic, onion, and ginger ready. You're going to need two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of minced onion, and two tablespoons of minced garlic. Now here's a tip for you. When you come home from the supermarket, put your ginger in the freezer because it's way easier when you have to grate it. Okay guys, while your chicken is still in the fridge marinating, we can make our orange sauce. Now I'm going to triple my recipe because I don't like when my chicken is dry. I'm using three tablespoons of Splenda, three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, six teaspoons of soy sauce. Now this is Simbal sauce. Um, I got mine at my local Walmart. I hope you can too. Now this stuff to me is extremely hot. So I'm only using one and one half tablespoons. If you want, you could put a lot more in if you like your stuff really hot. And I'm using three of these little oranges, the juice of it, and a little bit of the rind from my grater. You put all your sauce ingredients in a bowl, give it a good whisking, and set it to the side. Okay, you get your non-stick skillet ready. You put it on medium heat. You add your cooking spray or your cooking oil, whichever you prefer. You put your garlic, ginger, and your onion in, and you fry them up. Once they're brown, then you add your chicken and you fry your chicken up. Now, while my chicken is frying up, I want to tell you, these are the kind of noodles I use. They're the stir-fry noodles or I get the udon noodles. You can get them in your local Walmart or Redner's. Now, what I do is I'll just get my tap water and I'll heat it up in the microwave until it gets pretty hot. Then I'll just put these noodles into the water and I'll like break them apart and then just put them in the strainer and drain them. And then they're good to go. Okay, when the chicken is cooked, you take it off the stove and put it in a bowl and set it on the side. See, this is how the noodles come. They come in cakes like this. What I did is I got tap, hot tap water and I put it in the microwave for about five minutes. I took it out and I just put these cakes of noodles in and you just break them apart like this. They're already cooked so there's no need to cook them again. And then once they're all broken apart, then just strain them and then they're ready to go back in your pan. You put your noodles in the pan then, after you strain them, then you add your chicken and then you add your sauce. And you mix everything all together. And there you have it everybody, orange chicken. Enjoy!